Alexa, how high is Mount Everest? Mount Everest's elevation is 29,029 feet, 8,848 meters. Alexa, turn off desk left. Okay. Hey what's up guys, this is Adam Lobo and you're watching Adam Lobo TV. While watching movies like Iron Man and growing up watching futuristic cartoons like The Jetsons, I've always thought it would be kind of cool to have your own personal voice assistant to answer questions and perform commands. Now the first time I heard about the Amazon Echo and the Amazon Echo Dot, I was super excited. I was like, whoa, that's so cool. Then I was a bit disappointed to hear that it's not made to be compatible outside the US and the UK but I've managed to make it work in Malaysia and I'll tell you how to do it not only to work in Malaysia but any country that you are from but just before I tell you how here's my review of the Amazon Echo Dot device itself. The Amazon Echo comes with two variants which is the Amazon Echo which is bigger cylinder in size and the other variant is the Amazon Echo Dot which is way much smaller and is a cheaper option as it comes with a smaller speaker. Inside the box is just the Amazon Echo Dot, the adapter and the instructions booklet. Do not throw the booklet, please. The device comes with a volume up and volume down button, the mute button and the action button and it comes with a micro USB port to power up the device through the adapter and an AUX port for you to connect the Echo Dot to external speakers if you like or you can pair it with a Bluetooth speaker with it as well. There's also a light ring that will illuminate once the action button is pressed or once the wake up command is called. By default the Amazon Echo could be waken up by saying Alexa and now you can configure to choose other words such as Amazon, Echo and even the word computer which has been added recently. There are seven microphones beneath the ring with a far field voice recognition which means that you can get the echo to hear you from whichever directions that you are from the unit, across the room or even if there's music playing on the device. Alright, now to get the Amazon Echo to work, you will first need to download the Amazon Alexa app on the Google Play Store or the App Store. If it's available in your country, that's good. But if it's not, I will leave two links at the description area for you guys to download the APK version of the app or alternatively, you can just go to Google search engine and type Amazon Alexa APK for iOS or Android, download the app and install it. Do not worry about which version that you need to download because you can always update the app later as well. Now plug the power adapter and turn on and Alexa will say hello. Hello. Now in setup mode, follow the instructions in your Alexa app. See? Simple, right? You can then begin to ask questions and perform actions. In a nutshell, you can ask general questions such as how high Mount Everest is. Alexa, how high is Mount Everest? Mount Everest's elevation is 29,029 feet, 8,848 meters. Play music through Spotify and other music apps. Alexa, play soil work on my Spotify playlist. Soil work, the living infinite from Spotify. Alexa, cancel. Performing actions such as setting a timer through voice. Alexa, set timer for five minutes. Five minutes, starting now. Alexa, cancel timer. Five minute timer cancelled. Planning your day by asking what's in your calendar. Alexa, what's in my calendar today? Today, there is one event remaining. There is one event in progress. Federal Territory Day is an all-day event. Control smart home devices like your lamp or even smart plugs. Alexa, turn off desk left. Okay. Alexa, turn on desk left. Okay. And there's so many stuff that you guys can do within the app, especially adding skills to make Amazon Echo even more smarter. 
seriously guys there's so much that you can do with it so do let me know if you guys like me to do a dedicated video for cool stuff that amazon echo can do at the comment section below and i'll do one soon there are few drawbacks about owning the amazon echo in non-compatible countries as you can't get alexa to tell the weather and traffic because you can't change the device location but you can change the device time zone so you can tell the time and it uses Bing as a default search engine so it's not as versatile as the counterpart Google Home which is obviously using the Google search engine. And as great as the fact that the Amazon Echo Dot is small in size, it does sacrifice on the sound quality so if you're gonna be using this device as a sound playing device primarily, you will definitely need to pair it with an additional speaker or a Bluetooth speaker. If you guys are interested in getting the Amazon Echo, I'll leave a link at the description below for you to get one. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Once again, if you guys would like me to do a dedicated video for cool stuff that Amazon Echo can do, do let me know at the comment section below. And if you guys need help setting up the Amazon Echo as well, do let me know at the comment section below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you very much guys for watching. This is Adam Lobo and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Hey! Hey!